So, so I have two dogs. One of them loves the snow, like out playing in it like it's a little baby. The other one, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at uh, what's going on live at Olympia, where we still see, of course, some snow on the ground. The South Sound, though, hit with so much snow yesterday, but I wonder if conditions are changing there yet. You know. That's right. We'll get to uh, Adam in just a sec. So take a look. This is Tacoma. Uh, there's a live look there. Tacoma and parts of Pierce County got their fair share of snow over the past couple of days, that's for sure. Now here to Seattle, where we said it's about 36 degrees. Uh, there's a live look at the waterfront. The snow kept coming into the afternoon, but really road conditions, if you're heading in to the city or out of the city, looking pretty good. Adam Claybon, is this part of a warming trend that's going to continue? Yes, it is. So uh, I came in from Bonnie Lake earlier this morning or this afternoon, and I saw that the main streets and the roads were okay. You're not going to have much of an issue there. Of course, you would want to be careful as we head into the night, as of course you can get some refreezing to happen there. But the side streets, some of the side roads, even going into certain parking lots, from time to time, snow deck might be a little higher, so you might start to bottom out there. We want to be careful of that. Well, hey, it's a love-hate relationship with the snow, depending on who you are. And here at Shoreline at our Shorecrest High School School Net site, uh, you can see the snow just all over the place. It is beautiful, though, for many of us to see. Uh, still seeing a lot of it, too, still hanging around here in the city of Seattle. 36, mostly cloudy skies, east winds at about 9 miles per hour, maybe some patchy drizzle around for us as opposed to patchy flurries. 34 in Bremerton, 37 in Renton right now, sitting just above the freezing point in Tacoma at 33. 34 in Arlington and right now sitting at 35 in in Oak Harbor. So we have winds that are much lighter this time around for us. Earlier into the weekend, we were noticing some gusty winds, still noticing at least a few of them along parts of the southern Cascades along the foothills there. but. Not going to see much of a wind chill factor if you're going to be heading out, but still uh, quite chilly out there, so just warm. Here's a look at the satellite and radar picture. Moisture mainly confined to parts across northern interior and across the north sound. So that's where we are expecting to notice the majority of the snow as we head on into the evening. And with that warming trend, we are going to start to see this mix in from time to time, too, with some rainfall. Uh, areas of light drizzle, possibly a few light flurries around as you go farther south across the state. Not a whole lot more really left behind for us. We have a winter weather advisory that will end up tonight around 10 p.m. and then you can see really a lot more of the lowlands are dealing with areas of rain across Puget Sound. Uh, going a little higher into the elevations, we're going to see that those snow levels get up around 1,000 uh, to 1,500 feet. So we're still talking about snow across the passes. And we'll head on into the day tomorrow. Still more that continued a warming trend, which is going to help to bring in more rainfall. And for those of us closer to the sound, I will eventually start to see all those icy conditions become a lot more wet for us. Throughout the night, a lot less as far as snowfall is concerned. Not going to see really much at all, maybe up to an inch in some spots farther north across parts of Skagit County and then getting up towards Whatcom County and northern Snohomish County. 32 in Renton, 37 tonight in Tacoma. We'll see temperatures as we head on into uh, really the next few days on their way up. So we'll go back into the 40s heading into the day tomorrow all the way up to 41. We're talking about 45 as we head on into Tuesday and then by Wednesday we might actually start to see a few of those areas of sunshine start to show around and that should be uh, one of the drier days that we'll have here throughout the week because beyond that we are talking about more rain on the way but it is going to start to cloud up again and we'll stay quite wet as we head on into the upcoming weekend or into next weekend as highs will start to rebound back into the upper 40s and might even start to flirt with more of that 50 degree mark as we head into next Sunday with a few showers that could be around under mostly cloudy skies. Hey, keep it right here. We still got a lot for you as far as the snow coverage. We'll be right back. Coming up.